Good morning, Dos Santos Nation. What's up, everyone? I'm kind of awake. We're back to back fishing. We had a long day yesterday. We're going to have a long day today, but I'm excited. We are headed up to Stewart, Florida today with our flats boat in tow. We are just filling up with some gas and then we're going to shoot on up north and hopefully get on some fish. Yeah, I'd like to I catch some pompano or maybe. Yeah. I really want to catch a well, bonefish up there, but it's more of a bycatch. Yeah, we're just going to have to see how the day goes. That's going to be our target species, like you said, but we're just going to have to roll with it. All right, so let's go. We catch. Let's go. Hurry up for the gas. Yeah, I want the gas. This is like so much time. Fish on! Ugh. Woo! Nice! Nice way to start the morning. So we came offshore because it's nice and calm today. You always got to come out and explore when you can, especially on our flats boat. So today, we we came and caught some bait, got the bait from the live bait guys, and now we are in close and we're looking at where other boats are at. And we just hooked up, trolled out two lures. I'm getting rigged up with another one. And his line just went off. That was like a solid fish, though. Yeah. Jeez, it might be a jack. No, it better be a. Oh, it might be the biggest Spanish mackerel ever. I don't know. <laughs> but this looks like Spanish mackerel area. Yeah, so we're like Pex Lake Spanish mack area here in Stewart, which is Woo! opposite. So this hopefully is a Spanish mack. But Darcy just rigging up some. I just told her to put some spoons on for the macks, and I just started trolling some lures around while she was doing that, and got hooked up in like two seconds. So hopefully it's a Spanish, but it could be a jack. I don't know. We're gonna see. Oh, uh, looks like a bluefish. Bluefish? Wow. Well, maybe they got some bluefish here. Fighting hard, That's man. literally a little bass, bass, bass rod. Oh, yeah. We got blue? Yeah. Nice blue. Heck yeah. That is a nice blue. Yeah. A beast. He's floppy. Have a nice fight, yeah. too. Woo! That lead is... Oh, no, you're going to break that rod. I know. <laughs> Get my camera wet. Uh, I wasn't ready for that. No leader. Uh, oh shit! Oh, I almost lost. Them. Oh, I knew hey. that was gonna happen. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're we ready for better. that. We know better. We're ready for that. <laughs> that was literally like our bass rod, so I wasn't ready for that. And uh, the, uh, it's like 10 pound freaking braid on it, so I almost broke my finger off. So. Yeah. All right, we'll do better. But awesome. What's oh, up, baby? Come on. Oh my goodness! I'm never gonna get rigged up. He's flopping. Whoa. Up. Jeez, there's a doubled lot of fish up, right here. Doubled up, doubled up, let's go, let's go. Like another nice blue. Oh. All right, doubled. Oh, Jesus. Whoa, mine's like jumping up on top like crazy. I'm like on a bass rod. This is like a Watch out. tsunami 1000. Nice. Whoa. It's a nice fish. Jeez, this is fun fishing. They're all studs. No, we'll we'll take the net for me because I got a little, I got like a ten, I got like an eight pound okay, liter. Let me put this over here. Guggen style today, eight pound liter salt water. <laughs> this makes it fun. That's what makes it fun. There's no rules. Oh yes. Boom. Oh my lord. Oh yeah. Oh, and he just came off the lure. Careful, Jeez, he got some careful. shoulders on him. That's a stud. Yeah. Look at that fish. Heck yeah. Look at that guy. Awesome. On this little rod. It was crazy. That's awesome. Whew, that's a crab trap bait for the sizzle. Nice. Two studs. Whew. I don't need any more of those. Jesus, you caught another fish? Another fish already. <laughs> I was looking to catch something else, but it just seems like it's a solid pack full of bluefish in here. Woo. Nice. On the jig. Nice. Last minute jig. Heck yeah. Nice. They're all big fish, too. See, Darcy switched to, show us that lure, Sizzle. Yeah, let me clean them off real quick. Yeah, so you don't hurt yourself. Bye. Nice. Okay, yeah, so this is the jig that I was just using. Put it in your hands, baby. Also yeah, known as a glass minnow jig. Yeah. And that does pretty well. Catch, yeah. You're supposed to catch Spanish mackerels on them, but obviously bluefish love and them too. And just one cast, right? One cast. Yeah. Yep. Hopefully that's not bad luck. Right, and these other ones are, this is like just a standard lip diver that you guys have seen us using. So again, just Peck's Lake, which is right outside of Stewart to the south of the inlet. Oh, this is actual Peck's Lake? Yeah, it's what they call Peck's Lake area. It's across from Peck's Lake, which is an inshore lake actually, or intercoastal area. And uh, while she was rigging that up, I just started trolling and caught a bunch of bluefish. And so uh, I think we might go do something else now. All right guys, going on the grizzly. Want to keep those fish nice and iced? 
Grizzly Cool is made in USA, one of Darcy's great sponsors. Check him out. All right, Snook, Snook Nook was awesome. And there's a place next door called Freggie's. And they have hot dogs, and I went off my diet. I'm reporting back to you. Just one, it was a small hot dog on a piece of bread, not a big roll, and I had no breakfast. So, so far it's probably pretty good. Still not diet food. It's not diet food, but if you're counting calories, all I had was a banana, a Nathan's hot dog, and a slice of bread, and a cup of coffee so far today, and it's 10 a.m. Not too shabby. We got a lot of shrimp. Snook Nook's been there for 70 years. Check it out. Right here. Oh, closer. Right there between those rocks right there. Okay. He's about that long. Nice. That's a nice one. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. Woo! We got a fish on. Using our pilchards. Just got back to the inlet after getting all those live shrimp. We're all set, ready to go. Got a mixture of the pilch. Woo! This snook is active. Jumping all over the place. Put out a pilchard right behind the little shadow line on a wall, and of course, a beautiful snooky was sitting there. Check that out. Nice fish. Can't keep snook this time of the year, but it's also just so much fun to catch and release these guys. So much fun. He was hooked perfectly, too. Come here. Give me your lip. Give me your lip, buddy. I don't want to. Right. I don't want to. A uh, shark to come up and eat them or eat my hand. Nice. Nice little snook start today. He's actually a healthy one. Really nice. Look at that circle hook right in the corner doing its job. This is how these snook live for our future generations and for our kids to catch. Some beautiful fish. Put up a heck of a fight. He's chunky for his size. Relax. I'm gonna let you go. Nice one. Awesome. About the same size as those blue fish. Just a really nice, pretty snook. Underslot, golden colors. Let's let them go. She is ready. Already chewing on my thumb. Fish is ready, good to go. Oh my gosh, she's literally trying to swim away with my thumb. Let go, let go. <laughs> Do you see that? This fish is trying to swim down and it's holding on to my thumb. Like I'm taking your thumb with me. All right, let go, let go. There she goes. All right, pretty cool. And I also just want to mention real quick, guys, that I want to give a big shout out and thank you to my biggest sponsor and it's been a huge supporter of mine for years now. And of course, that is Landshark Lager. I'm actually wearing their new visor today, but it's white, so it's going to get dirty really fast. So we'll see how long it lasts today. But um, shout out to them. And I know a lot of you have tried Landshark because of us. So try it if you haven't. It's awesome. Oh. Fish on. Fish on, woo, we got another snook. They're jumping all over the place, woo. We got my drag locked down a little bit here because I'm fishing structure. Don't want to get broken off. Wants to go this way. Wants to go back to the structure, going deep. Underneath the boat, uh-oh. Get over here. He's all the way on the other side right now. <laughs> Crap, there he is. Woo! About the same size as the last one. Not bad. Come here, buddy. Let's get out from under the boat. There he is. Water's getting nice and clear. We are having some really clear water. This incoming tide has got these fish chewing. Come here, we're gonna let you go real quick. Real quick, real quick, real quick. <laughs> I'm wrapped on your line. I know. This is how we're gonna lose it. All right, just remove that circle hook. It was more in the in the uh, in the actual inside of the fish's mouth, but nice fish. They are just chewing, really hungry. Beautiful fish, probably about inch smaller, maybe two inches smaller than that last fish. But we're catching them. Let's let them go. Go. I always like to take care of my fish. I don't like to throw them back. Look, sucking on my thumb already. When they do that, the fish is ready to go. You see that? <laughs> Not letting go. There you go, you're free. Sweet. Okay, we are slaying them. Now we gotta get some new species, I think, in here. We're gonna fish this area a couple more times. You can see that snook frayed up my 30 pound leader real quick, and I'm always retying. It's what you gotta do. You gotta stay diligent, 
Make sure your lines are rigged good. Good point, Dr. Sizzle. I, would, I probably would have hiked that fish, like my last video. I don't know. Maybe not on the snook. Well, good point. The re so one reason people, some people catch more fish and some other people don't. Oh, we got a party going on over here. <laughs> Darcy got that thing spined, that snook spined her in the knee. <laughs> right through her pants mm -hmm. while she was getting the hook out. And uh, we've got a party. What? What? <laughs> You're so cute. <laughs> but anyway, one reason people catch more fish than you is because they are willing to do things that you were not willing to do, which means retying your line and not being lazy. It means getting up early and catching bait. It means spending money. Uh, so those are the things. Way to go, Sizzle. I spent like $200 today so far. She spent $200 today. On, about that. On, <laughs> she's literally sponsored by DOA now. They said you can go to the factory and get whatever you want. Thank you very much, DOA and Paul and everybody over there. But, you know, we go to Snook Look and she spent $50 on DOA lures. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Woo! Pulling some drag. Nice. Hooked up again, y'all. This incoming tide today seems to be doing the trick for these nuts, these awesome snook. They all just seem to be about the same size. This one might be the biggest one. Very frisky. Come here. Woo! That is a nice one. That's a nice one. That would be close to the slot. Yeah. A little undersized. A little under, 25 maybe? Yeah, 26, 25, yeah, I would say about that. Another nice, healthy, fat snook. It's always good to see that, especially in these areas. They're very active, I'm, you know, bringing them in real quick. So they're very active, ready to go right back home. Nice to catch another one. So now I'm three for four on snook. I think it's the new Jeez. land shark visor. Yeah, maybe. Forgot my normal visor I've been wearing. Look at that. Let go. Snook kisses. Okay, dude. <laughs> there he goes. Let go. All right, cool. All right, I think it's time to switch it up. We caught more than enough snook and I can't keep them. So maybe we want to try to get some dinner today. We'll see. So let's move on to the next phase of our fishing trip. Heck yes! Look at that, guys. I just caught dinner. <laughs> Sick. Look at that. All right. Sheep's head. So the sheep's head are here migrating through this area this time of the year. They come in and a lot of people come in and spear them, but you catch them on shrimp with a jig, just like I just did. I'll show you how I rigged it in a second. But that is a beautiful one. A lot of people actually don't like to eat them. They're also known as convicts. They're hard to hold. Yeah. But you can see these wild looking teeth on this dude. Look at that. So I've been dying to catch one of these damn things. No, we need to go target them one day. You just targeted it. Target, target acquired. Do you see that? See yeah, those I'm teeth? Sure. Human teeth on those guys. Also known as convicts because of their color. But ugly teeth. Look at that. Just the wildest looking teeth. The only fish that literally has human teeth. And look at the gums. I mean, it looks like human teeth. It's wild. All right, y'all. So we just got the camera rolling because I just got sight on this fish, that the second fish after that sheep's head. It's a freaking bone fish. Oh. oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God. All right, this line. All right, no, 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 no. Heck yes! <laughs> my first bone fish ever in here in Florida besides the Florida Keys, which is a spot to catch them. Look at that gorgeous fish. For those of you who don't know what a bonefish is, this is actually a species you would target mainly when you're fly fishing. A lot of people come down here, um, the fly fishing people, and they explore this part of the Florida, but mainly like the Florida Keys and the Bahamas is where you go to catch bonefish on fly. And up here in Stewart, I've been hearing a lot of people catching bonefish and they just scooped up my shrimp, no problem on the jig. Come on, dude, I'm trying to get it off. Gotta let him go. So cool to catch a bonefish, y'all. It's like the coolest thing ever. So happy. Strictly catch and release on this species. He is hooked good. There we go. I like how gorgeous that fish is. You don't want to gill them. You don't want to hold them too long. You want to get them right back in the water, but epic to catch a bonefish. How cool is that? Such a cool fish. They're also called the ghost fish because on the flats, they honestly just disappear. Great ghost. Great ghost, yeah. There he goes. That was so cool to catch one. My first one ever I caught on fly in Andros. Bahamas and that was a few years back and again like here in Stewart Florida we just caught and released a bonefish how sick is that he's probably like a one pounder bonefish pound for pound are basically one of the hardest fighting fish out there for their size 
And if they lived in deep water, I mean, they would just run you straight to the deep, but they're in the flats here and in these areas. So pretty cool to catch him. He's probably like a pound, pound. Nice fish though, not complaining at all. Let's catch more. I am so jealous right now, it's ridiculous. Like, I've been wanting to catch one of those in Stewart forever. Really catching them on a jig and a shrimp is really Guggen style, quite frankly. Yeah, at the um, fly, that's the way at the Stewart boat show when I did my seminar, like one person asked me, "Have you caught a, the bonefish in, in Stewart before?" I'm like, "No, I haven't. Everybody else has, but now I can say differently." We got fish on. We reset our drift, basically moving just to the head of the inlet, the the uh, Stewart Inlet. What is it, St. Lucie Inlet? St. Lucie Inlet. Yeah, and then drifting down to where, woo, fish is fighting good. And then drifting down to where the sandbar is and then just resetting the drift. And if you come out here, you'll see a lot of other people doing that as well. What do we got? What do we got? Looks like it's another bonefish. Heck yes. That guy fought hard, dude. Nice. Look at him. Gorgeous. Hooked perfectly. They're so cool. Bonefish are such a special fish. And you don't eat them. So don't ask me if we eat them. We don't. It's strictly catch and release. Now I just caught the second bonefish. How gorgeous. Look at that. All right, guys, we're going to release them. Just took a quick picture so I can post it on the Fish Angler app. Just hold them like this. You don't want to touch their gills or anything like that because these fish, you just want to take your time with them and let them release them. Beautiful. Ooh, Dark Sizzle, that was a great day on the water. One of the best days we've had in a long time. I was excited. And I really wanted to catch that bonefish. I've been dying to catch the first bonefish in Stewart for a long time. Yes. And this whippersnapper did it. Yes. Well, he wasn't fishing shrimp, but I told him to fish shrimp, but he didn't want to. She's the star of the show. So she fits the fishing, and I fill in the blanks. We met so many guys on the water today, so thank you for saying hi. Yes. And a few people even said that he needs more camera time. Go ahead and comment below if you agree. I don't know. It was an epic day on the water. Yeah, and uh, about the bonefish, you know, we have a lot of old videos you guys haven't seen, and one of them is a whole series going to Andros, where Darcy caught her first bonefish on fly. Like, she never even fly fished before. It was windy, it was a whole big mess. Yeah, I did, she did, I did say that briefly when we caught the fish. Oh, okay. But, well, anyway, we're gonna put yeah. the whole playlist so you guys can see that whole adventure. Yes. It's, uh, it's great, including like five or 10 best places to go in Andros, in the Bahamas, and it's beautiful. Yeah. And there's gorgeous. some bikinis in there. Yes. <laughs> yep. But uh, So another great day, bluefish and snooks and yeah. sheeps and everything else. Yeah, can't complain at all. When so, we go back, we're gonna get our target species. <laughs> she wants those pompano so bad. I do, but, but it's uh, all good. Today was an awesome day. Yeah, it's all good. Beautiful. So uh, thanks to Landshark again. Yes. And uh, until our next adventure. Until our next adventure, follow your dream. And, and keep, keep on, on catching. catching. Cheers. Cheers.